Hello everyone and welcome to a really exciting Star Wars Old Republic video because we do have new cartel market sales today and boy are they awesome. As you guys can see here the gold armor packs are back highlighted right there for the price of 1200 cartel coins easily. One of the best things to just ever be put on the cartel market. I love these gold armor packs to death and I'm just so happy to see them back. There's also a lot of other stuff. There's gold mount packs, gold decorations and then there's silver and bronze versions of each. So there's a silver uh, armor pack, a bronze armor pack, a silver mount pack, a bronze mount pack, you guys get the picture. And then we have a tons of other stuff like a, a grand toys pack, grand weapons pack. And for those of you who might not be familiar with these things, they were first introduced about a year ago before Knights of the Fallen Empire was released. And they were kind of a way by which people, they were like grand chance cubes on steroids. They gave you full armor sets or they gave you a mount and they basically guaranteed you something. So the gold armor pack guarantees you a gold armor set. And also since it costs 1200 cartel coins, they give you a little bit of a bonus. So they give you one standalone item. That standalone item could be as good as a Nihilus mask or it could be as bad as just some uh, other kind of small thing. They're always gold items. Items, but they're kind of those standalone items so like the trophy hunter mask is another example nonetheless the gold armor pack costs a lot of cartel coins but it guarantees you a really really good item and then you guys get the picture the silver armor packs will guarantee you a silver armor set but you still have a chance at getting a gold armor set so there's an RNG component there and then um, you have the grand toys pack which gives you a toy you have the grand crystal pack which gives you a crystal and there's a lot of RNG and a lot of excitement associated with these packs. In my personal opinion, I've always just disregarded everything except for the gold stuff. And really, if you uh, don't have any cartel coins, you don't have to worry about that because these things do go on the GTN. Now, when I was playing back a year ago, I could pick up one of these gold armor packs for the low, low price of 2 million credits. That's all they were going for on the GTN. And now I really doubt that that's going to be their going price. We did a, I did a conversion of uh, cartel coins to credits in one of my recent videos. I was talking about the best ways to convert your cartel coins to credits. And we came to the conclusion that you could convert one cartel coin to 9,000 credits if you bought up a, G, a CXP boost and then you sold them on the GTN. So if you use the same conversion, ideally gold armor packs would be going for um, 10.8 million credits each. And I really highly doubt that they're going to go up for that price. No one, I doubt anyone would buy a gold armor pack for 10.8 million credits. I personally assume it's going to go at, to about 4 to 5 million credits each. I think that's what it'll go to, but time will tell and we'll see what ends up happening. One quick thing to keep in mind is you can be a little bit clever with how you play the cartel market depending on how these gold armor packs sell on the GTN. For example, as I mentioned earlier, I determined that one of the best conversion rates for cartel coins to credits was one cartel coin for 9,000 credits. And what that means is you could potentially be converting 1,200 cartel coins into 10.8 million credits. And you can do this by buying command boosts off the cartel market and then putting them up on the GTN for sale. So let's just use an example. Let's say you have 1,200 cartel coins. Now on one hand, you could just buy a gold armor pack, try your luck and have some fun. Or you can use those 1,200 cartel coins to get uh, five six seven you could buy seven command boosts off the cartel market now as you guys can see on the gtn or as i've shown you beforehand but i just checked right now uh, they are selling for two million credits each i showed in a previous video that i sold them actually for the price of 2.9 million credits each so they are selling at those high prices let's say you sold them for two million credits well since you bought seven you could have made 14 million credits so once again depending upon how those gold armor packs are selling on the gtn who knows how many you could pick up for 14 million credits if they're selling for 6 million credits and you can pick up two gold armor packs so instead of spending your 1200 cartel coins on just one gold armor pack you could have converted those cartel coins to credits and then bought two gold armor packs so for a little bit of work you could make more of a profit you could open more packs and have more fun in general so there's clever ways to kind of play the play the cartel market in this sense and, um, and in a future video once i've scoured the gtn i found out how these gold armor packs are doing what they're selling for i will uh, make kind of an update video letting you guys know about what are the best ways to gain access to these packs and um, and so that you're not wasting your cartel coins or your credits because these things are very expensive they're very exciting and you want to make the best use of them the gold mount packs are a little bit more expensive at 1500 cartel coins but once again you have a chance of getting command thrones, uh, hover chairs, some of that really really nice stuff. 
But in my opinion, I don't think gold metal packs are the best because they also contain a lot of junk. A lot more junk than the gold armor packs will give you because there's a lot of really junky gold mounts. Some of the recent gold, mount we gold mounts we've been getting in the recent cartel packs, like the Eternal Command pack, for example, have some really, really crappy gold mounts. The TC Voyager is the most recent mount we got out of the Eternal Command pack. It's one of the gold ones and it's selling on the GTN for like 200 to 300k. So imagine opening a gold mount pack and getting that. It would be really, really bad. However, that isn't to say that gold armor packs don't contain junk. They really do. Um, they have, you have some really terrible stuff. Like for example, if you go into the equipment locker here and you see all the gold armor sets, you have some really, really terrible stuff like the Heartless Pursuer, the Malevolent Interrogator, Sanctified Caretaker. These are old gold armor sets that could potentially come out of these gold uh, armor packs. And in my experience, a lot of the armor sets that actually come out of the packs are from the cartel market, like, like these things. And they sell for next to nothing on the GTN. They're really, really bad drops. Of course, you also have some of the ceremonial mystic stuff which is just personally i hate that thing because i was getting it so much out of the dark versus light packs it was really pissing me off but um how but on the bright side you have a very very good chance of getting revan's armor set revan reborn armor set sith recluse darth malgus all of these amazing amazing gold armor sets and once again in my experience you do get them i'll throw up some footage on the screen here of me opening gold armor packs one year ago in patch uh, before patch 4.0 hit and these were my openings of them. As you guys can see, I got a lot of crap. And as you will see, I also got very, very lucky at times. And I will, of course, be doing gold armor pack openings for the channel. And I'll probably be giving away a lot of the stuff. So if I do end up getting some of the really, really nice gold armor sets, you can expect them being included in future giveaways. However, going back to talking about gold armor packs, one of the reasons I never thought Bioware would bring these things back is because they tore apart the GTN. They destroyed the GTN. And I talked about this in a previous video, but I'll reiterate some of the major points again. Darth, um, Dar yeah, Darth Revan's mask, the mo one of the most rare masks in the game that used to sell for like 30 million, dropped to as low as three to four million credits when these gold armor packs hit. You could pick up Revan Reborn's armor set for like six to seven mil. And trust me, that wasn't due to inflation because before the gold armor packs were first released a year ago, those things were still selling for like 20 to 30 million. And then they just completely dropped because so many people were opening these gold armor packs and the GTN just got flooded. Now, will those, a similar thing happen? I remember back then, um, I saw the Revan's Mask for like 4 million and I never picked them up and I'm not sure why. I knew it was a really good deal, but I just couldn't bring myself to buying it. And at that time, I didn't have as many credits as I have now. I was only at like 40 to 50 mil and so... Um, and so I didn't really have the same amount of credits that I could possibly spend on some of this stuff. But now that I have so many, trust me, if they drop as low as that, I will be buying up so many deals of those just for the hell of it because it's such a low price for them. But will the GTN crash as big as it did back a year ago? I'm not sure because a year ago, the gold armor packs were available for at least one to two months, uh, if my memory doesn't fail me. It was a very, very long time that these things were on the cartel market. However, Bioware did do out a tweet that said these things are only here for the holiday season. So does that mean they'll be gone by January 1st, maybe earlier? I'm not sure. Will they stay for longer? Once again, I don't know. However, the fact of the matter is the longer that they stay, the more the GTN will crash. That's kind of the general rule. In order for it to go, in order for the prices of some of these items to go as low as they did a year ago, I would think that these things would need to be up for at least one to two months. So, um, so I'm not sure it's going to be up for that long. Bottom line is, I will be scourging the GTN for some really good deals, and I do suggest you do, the, do those as well. If you're on the Harbinger server, chances are you will find a pretty good deal. The same on the Red Eclipse, but if you're on some of the other servers, the population size might affect how low the items go on the GTN. So it's a good time to be on the Harbinger, really, because you can snatch up some really nice deals. If you're double-minded about opening some of this stuff, I will be doing pack openings for almost all of them on my channel. I'll be opening a lot more gold armor packs and I will open other stuff because um, gold armor packs are my favorite, but I will open up like gold mount packs. I will open up Grand Toys pack, Grand Crystals packs. And so you guys can get a little bit of a sense of what actually pops out of these things. The Grand Toys pack used to be one of the best things to buy because they cost so cheap, so little. They only cost 150 cartel coins, but uh, they used to give you toys that sold for like 500, 600K on the GTN. And it was one of the best conversion rates.
But ever since Grand Chance Cubes were introduced into the game, toys have flooded the GTN and they've dropped very, very low in price. So I would actually say that's one of the worst packs to buy now. So that's a little bit unfortunate. But once again, I'll just buy a few up and experiment with them and see if we can't get anything good out of them. Uh, I do think the companion, uh, the companion licenses do drop out of those. So it'll be interesting to see if we can get maybe lucky and get a good drop from them. One of the most useless packs though, and still very expensive, is the gold decoration pack. So just completely disregard that, because a lot of the gold decorations don't sell for very much on the GTN. And so the bottom line is, if you're going to spend 800 cartel coins, there are better ways to convert those cartel coins to credits, and then you can just buy whatever you wanted off the GTN. Don't try your luck with these gold decoration packs. They're easily one of the most useless things, and they're very, very expensive. At 800 cartel coins, they are definitely not worth it. There really is no gold decoration that you can get that would make that worth it. Um, yeah, as I said, just convert those 800 cartel coins to credits by buying CXP boosts and selling those on the GTN and then use the credits you get from that in order to buy whatever gold decoration you wanted off the GTN. That's a much better way to do it. Uh, with some of the silver stuff, I guess that's for people that don't have those many cartel coins but still want to maybe try their luck. Of course you can do that. I'm not sure how low they drop on the GTN because uh, they're not very popular. Everyone's kind of going crazy over the gold armor pack. So that's usually what sells for a lot on the GTN and they sell pretty quickly. A lot of people are, are snacking up those deals to try their luck at getting something really, really nice. And um, I would actually argue that the gold armor packs give you a better chance at getting something good than getting something bad. Normally in a cartel pack, when it's filled with junk, you have a higher chance of getting the junk than getting something really good. But with the gold armor packs, I would actually say like it's 60-40. There's 40% chance you'll get an armor set that is bad, but there's a 60% chance you'll get an armor set that really makes it worth your while. But we'll test out those numbers when I do a pack opening of them, and, uh, and we'll see how things have changed because, once again, my memory might be failing me. I might just think they're really good, but uh, we'll find out what happens. I guess I'll end the video here because it's gotten pretty long. I just want to say I'm really excited for this and um, yeah, I really never thought they would bring them back considering how they really destroyed the GTN and they were really good but, uh, but their popularity I guess was worth it for Bioware because they're probably going to make a ton of money off this. I do see a lot of people buying up these things especially since it's Christmas time and so people might be getting you know money as gifts and stuff from their parents or relatives and they would be spending those in some cartel coins and trying to luck with these things. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are as excited as I am about these new sales. Uh, we'll see what happens on the GTN and I'll make sure to keep you guys updated. Uh, so stay tuned to the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one.